Well, Will obviously has had father issues for as long as we've known him. I just want to set a good example. Be the father I never had. So there's a bit of pressure on him to be the best father he can, to not repeat the mistakes that he had from his father. Taking the bike out for a spin. I didn't do it! What? Oh, excuse me. It... It's fine. It's fine. Bonnie very much wants Will to be a bit more of an assertive father, especially as Ernie starts playing up. Sterling support, fellow parent. She has to encourage him to be a bit more disciplined. He doesn't really realise how the racing on the bike affects Ernie, who's already lost one father. Did you get hurt? You're bleeding. Nah, suit of armour on. Will has to confront his own recklessness, seeing himself through the eyes of a dependent 10-year-old. And I think it makes him reconsider his choices. Hey, what are you doing? It's my jacket. I don't want you to die. Can you? You crashed. And Will doesn't really know how to handle it quite as well as he should at first, because he doesn't want to be a stern father. Time to put away childish things. I think Will, from certainly from Mr. C's point of view, uh, uh, has a lot more responsibility now. Will has no idea what's in store for him, but what Geordie tries to instill in Will is that is the most gorgeous kind of love, your family. Dear Will, I have something to ask you. Would you mind if I called you Dad? I'd like that very much. To be asked to be his father, it's a huge honor. And it affects Will massively because he knows he's gonna be a father, but it's, it's now becoming more real. It means so much to him. Does that sound all right to you? It sounds wonderful. Dad? Yes, sir? I feel very lucky. So do I.